Ah, hello, sweetheart. So, I'm a little late with even taking my meds today because pain kept me in bed a little longer. And that, well, some of it was goofing off, but some of it was legit pain. But, so, um, hello. Oh, dear. Cat. Uh, I don't like to move the cats against their wishes until I absolutely have to, whether it be for something I need to do or for their own safety, so let us hope that Murnau, because he's still right here, let us hope that Murnau can keep his shit together. So I've actually been fairly good about remembering my... Hello. Almost all of my doses this week. Um, but I do need to go today... And it is Sunday. Okay, so this needs to be refilled. And, um... And get some new things. Oh! Oh, I guess I did need to put in a refill on that. Well, that's what the... I am going to stop at Walgreens for a couple of things. So I'll just have them put this on, too. Uh, 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 uh. Usually I leave out the, uh, when it's down to less than a week's worth, um, I usually leave that out, I guess, oh well, I guess I was just getting in the zone. Oh, he moved off his own choices. Mm. Usually I leave that out, but I guess I was just like in a hurry, uh, last week when, oop. So, alright, this is, uh breakfast of sorts and there we go so and this right uh Valerian. This is something that I take um, at night. It's to help with sleep and um, it does have some anti-anxiety um, chemical properties. Um, but uh, some cats really love the smell of it and I've only got uh, four capsules left so I need to go uh, get more of that from the uh, place Phoebe really loves it. Okay, Phoebe. 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 <laughs> Here. You want the cap? <laughs> I, it's completely safe. It's just every time I get a new one, <laughs> she's just. She's going nuts for the cap. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but I don't feel like moving the phone, because I'm not wearing pants right now. And this one... <laughs> She's so funny. They're all funny, but... Okay, there's exactly seven here. No refills. Ah, uh, there or here. Uh, I'll put it here right now. <laughs> She's just... Yeah, sometimes I've got to be careful with the little... The little, um... The little styrofoam 
padding on the interior of the caps uh, sometimes, but yeah, she's she's the only one of these three who loves it. But then again, um, my friend Scott's cat, Chunk, she does not like catnip, and uh, estimated maybe um, one in six, one in ten cat, you know, one in six max, one in ten, you know, at the very least. Cats do not like catnip, like they don't, um, have any sort of, you know, reaction to it. They're just like, okay, whatever, it's, <laughs> it's a plant. <laughs> um, um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, all of these cats right now need a new one of that, too. Um, all of these cats really love catnip. Uh, I've got a plant out on the balcony that... And they know it's out on the balcony, and every time I go out there to either water the plants that are out there... Um, most of the plants I've brought in because... Um, it's starting to drop around or below freezing. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. She's just... <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. <Here. laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so I've brought all the succulents in. Please, thank you. So, you... oh yeah, there's there's your valerian. <laughs> so yeah, I've brought in all the succulents off the balcony, and um, t -t 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 I leave the catnip out there because if I brought it in in the winter, and it's a perennial, so you know it'll uh, you know it'll go dormant in freezing weather. Um, if there is any, but it'll just, like, you know, keep growing and thriving in, you know, more, uh, temperate weather. So, I could bring it in if I wanted to, but I know, especially Nigel, is, like, Nigel is far smarter than he should be, and he, uh, he has been munching on my aloe plant, which he hasn't done before, but he's doing it now. I mean, it's completely edible, more or less. I mean, okay, so aloe leaves are, uh, okay. You just leave her to her valerian cap. Um... <laughs> Ah, uh, so yeah, like, the, uh, the aloe, the aloe stalks, the, the aloe leaves, um, so they're kind of shaped like this, you know, and they go up at a taper, and so, then there's the, there's, they're like that, and then there's the inner gel, and then, like, uh, like what wraps around it, ah! Oh, okay, I get, yeah, my cat, my germs, right? Um... I've probably eaten plenty of cat spit at this point. So, the, um, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the outer, um, bit, you know, the outer, um, leaf around the gel, that's, um, you know, it's, it's got a couple layers to it, and inside that, you know, thin, you know, couple of layers, so, is, um, is, uh, it's a, uh, it's more like a sap, you know, it's more like a thin kind of a sap of sorts, and that actually acts to protect the inner gel layer, um, of the aloe leaves by, um, being bitter to taste, um, on human skin. It's a very mild irritant, like, um, you know, very mild, and it's, uh, you know, you've got, a, uh, you know, reactions, like, rashes from it, um, are very uncommon. I wouldn't 
know if they're exactly what would be classified as rare, but they're very uncommon. Um, sometimes it just, uh, you know, it just kind of, um, not quite stings, but it, it tingles. It tingles, sort of. We okay, Phoebe? She's a little asthmatic, so... Um... I am concerned, but you have a cat who's got these little, like, you know, coughing attacks like this, and it's like... You get used to it, and you know what it sounds like when, you know, it's not normal, so... <laughs> um... I mean, technically, it's not normal for, you know, a cat to, you know, be a little asthmatic. Like, if you're considering normal as, like, you know, perfectly healthy, no health problems. But, you know, she's got, uh, she's got some mild allergies, and, like I said, she does seem to have a little bit of a asthmatic condition. It's just, it's nothing big. She just, um, she'll get some little coughing, you know, attacks like that, and as just didn't sound any worse than, you know, what they normally do, so she's all right. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, yeah, so the, uh, so the aloe sap that, you know, is there to protect the gel layer, that is, um, and, you know, of course, there are breeds, like, you, uh, you know, there are different varieties of, you know, or, is it straight up different species, or is it just a different breed of a, of a species? Like, you know, like different breeds of dogs, you know, are technically the same species. Um, in every meaningful sense, it's just, you know, they, uh, you know, they look incredibly different sometimes. Oh. Um, but, uh, um, so there are some breeds of aloe that, uh, Oh, apples are the same species, too, but, you know, you've got so many breeds of them. Um, and, uh, so, like, there are some breeds of aloe at, uh, at, uh, like, like, you'll see, like, the big, you know, aloe leaves at Whole Foods, um, and aloe, um, aloe gel is completely edible, uh, so they, um, uh, and, of course, it's that time of the day. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, they have, um, I don't know if they are bred to be low or just without sap, but, you know, your, uh, your common, you know, houseplant aloe vera, uh, plant, that is, you know, it's going to have a little bit of the sap in the, um, in the leaves to, you know, protect it from, you know, in, you know, from harm, like, weirdo cats who like to eat aloe fronds. Yes, I said weird, I said weirdo cat, and he looked right at me. <laughs> Nigel's just sitting off to the side there, and no, I'm not really able to turn it around in this mode, but, um, I don't see it anyway. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he's just, sitting off to the side and watching the other two, and it's, he's so funny. But it looks like this is all of my pills. Oh, keeping it under 15 minutes today. Okay, yeah, I do this one at night. Um, so yeah, I don't know, like, and I know that this plant, and I know this plant because... Um, it's gotten fairly sizable. I don't know, I might take a little clip. You know, I should do a, I should do a houseplant video, because I've got many of them. But, I think I want to clean up in here first, but, uh, you know. Um, but yeah, the, um, I know this aloe plant because I've had it a while, and... Um, many babies have shot off of the mother plant, like, to the point where, um, right now it is currently in the largest possible container that it can comfortably be in, but I, uh, still, uh, it still was not big enough to, um, comfortably 
home all the babies shot off of it. And so I just, you know, um, broke off some of those and gave them out to friends. And I do this regularly, like, um, like, uh, like when my aloe is, you know, shooting off. Like, I don't even repot it every time it shoots off, you know, so many babies. Um, it's just this most recent time it had been out on the balcony for quite some time. And so I'm like, okay, I gotta finally re repot it, because, um, but yeah, like, usually I'll just break off some babies, put, um, between two and four in a little starter pot, and I save all of my starter pots from when I pick up a new plant somewhere. Um, well, almost all of them. Some of them just, like, I don't know, they get too damaged from being on the balcony because I don't bring them inside during the winter. The balcony, the, the balcony is, like, from about the, um, the, uh, the other side of the door outward. It's got a lot of storage. Even the side of the door that I want to put a little bistro set uh, you know, so I can brunch in nice weather. Brunch on the balcony in nice weather. Um, even that side, it's, you know, got a bit more storage than I'd like it to have, but, um, so yeah, like, my balcony is, like, glorified storage area right now. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, I break off babies, I give them to friends. <laughs> Um, I do keep track of which friends I give them to, so that, you know, I don't, you know, end up re-gifting the same people, like, several goddamn aloes, because, um, but yeah, I brought, I brought one to, uh, to my new therapist, and she was actually, like, really flattered by that. She's just like, oh, nobody's given me, you know, plants before. Uh, she's, she's a little bit of a hippie, and I like her, I like her so much. Um... But, uh, but yeah, so, yeah, Nigel has been eating on my aloe, which I guess, you know, if he's going to, he's just been working on this one, um, this one leaf that I've noticed, like, these one or two leaves seem to be getting, like, the most damage from Nigel just, like, gradually gnawing it down, um, but Nigel is the reason I can't have a rose, because I had, I'm sure you've seen them at the grocery store. There's, in a lot of the grocery stores around here anyway. Um, usually at Kroger and Meyer. Um, those are the big ones. Um, I don't know if, because Ralph's is Kroger out in California. I don't know if they're out that way or if you, uh, I mean, they would see them at Walmart, I guess. Because that's, Walmart is like, kind of like a Meyer, but, you know, cheap. Or slightly, and based out in, like, what, where are they from originally, Nebraska? I keep getting into arguments with people who don't understand that Walmart and Walgreens are two completely different companies founded about, yes, Nigel, founded about 60 years apart in two completely different parts of the United States by completely different families. Ugh. It's that wall, you know, prefix in the, in the title of both of them, but no, it's two completely different companies. But, uh, but yeah, so, like, I see miniature roses sometimes at the grocery store, and I really want one, and I want to have one, and I've had one many times, um, on rare occasion they've died, but, um, you know, of natural causes, just from, you know, like, um, um, less main, you know, like, l lower upkeep on maintenance, which, you know, either was a result of, um, um, anxieties and whatnot feeding into depression, or, uh, chronic pain, um, feeding into, you know, being unable to maintain some of my, you know, less hardy plants. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, Nigel is the reason I can't have a rose. And, um, so roses are usually fairly hardy, and so, um... This, uh, this last winter, I left my rose out on the balcony because Nigel, every time I brought it in, Nigel would eat it. And the thorns, like, it, it's a, your typical little thorny rose bush, only miniaturized, right? The thorns would not deter him. Like, even, even, you know, when you get into the trunk of the rose, 
<laughs> you know, in the middle of the in, in the middle of the plant pot. Um, you know, you get you get to the trunk where you've got these big ass thorns. It doesn't stop him. It seems to be better for him. It's like I don't know, like maybe you know, like the thorns act as toothpicks to get the leaves out of his teeth. You know, um, of course, cats don't really have molars. You know comparable to human molars. But no, he, he eats, he, he's eaten every rose I've had. Like, over the last five years or so, um, yes, he is, he has literally eaten two roses. Um, the one that I had, um, and left out on the balcony, uh, last winter, that seemed to survive for a time. Um, but then there was that, uh, huge dry spell that we had this last summer, and I, uh, um, I wasn't, um, so because the air conditioning, uh, so it was, like, really hot and dry for a spell this last summer, um, so I keep the air conditioning on economy when I do keep it on during the summer, because, you know, it tries to keep it at a close temperature. Unfortunately, the door has been painted and repainted without, you know, proper, you know, um, prep work first. So, the door very easily, like, gets kind of, like, the paint layers will expand and kind of, you know, warp it shut, you know, a bit when it's hot and humid outside. Uh, no, even if it's just heat, yeah, because it's really dry for a couple for a couple weeks there. Um, so yeah, like, you know, the heat will expand the, uh, the paint layers and kind of warp it shut for a bit, and I have to, like, really put my weight into opening it up, and, uh, one time I threw my back out trying to open up the door in the summer when that was happening, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> I'll just, you know, if it lives, it lives. Yeah, like, I knew there were plants out there that could stand to be watered, um... But I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll take care of it when I take care of it. And, you know, there were a couple times I just, you know, went out and I forgot to water it or whatever. But, you know, it's like, um, it was mostly, like I said, it was, it was growing back in some spots after the winter, which was nice. I was glad to see that. I don't think I saw any flowers this last season. Uh, for it. Uh, but yeah, if it, if it comes back to me, it comes back to me. If not, um, it comes back to me this coming spring, then it comes back to me. If not, I'm gonna try again, because I'm usually really good with roses, it's just I can't bring it inside during the winter anymore, or Nigel will eat it. Like, he ate, um, before I brought it, before I left it out on the balcony last winter, winter, he, uh, the previous winter, he had eaten it down to um, <laughs> he, he'd eaten it down to, you know, like, you know, the trunk, pretty much. He'd pretty much eaten it down to the trunk. In fact, I got a cactus, you know, with the express purpose of putting it on the windowsill to protect it from Nigel. Unfortunately, there was a high... I had the cactus on the balcony edge, and there was a rainstorm a uh, few weeks ago, and the, uh... Uh, the cactus did not get flooded, spe did not specifically get flooded, though, I mean, that kind of happened by default. Uh, the rain came at, you know, a hard enough force that it basically knocked the cactus off the balcony, and I, it had been fine up on there, you know, during rain spells before, it just, I didn't realize how strong the rain was coming down, that it was coming down strong enough to knock it off the balcony. So I didn't realize that it knocked the cactus off the balcony for a couple days until I come home and on the ground, um, in front of me, I, you know, like there's no car in front of there, um, in front of that spot finally, you know, for a change. And I noticed like, that's my plant pot and, you know, there's my cactus. So... Um, a chunk broke off of it, <laughs> um, in the fall, um, I'm going to, I, I still need to, uh, uh, properly get the soil in there, but, um, so yeah, it was kind of flooded, um, I've let it, um, you know, it's got 
a very minimum of dirt in the pot right now, but I need to get out my gloves because that's a very, very spiny cactus. And I'm going to try and nurse it back to health. I know cacti are fairly hardy, um, all things considered. They're fairly hardy. I mean, yeah, you don't want to overwater them or they will rot from the inside. Uh, so, yeah, I think I did good, you know, just like leaving it with like minimum soil. You know, the root looked fairly healthy. Hello! Uh, the root looked okay. Um, so there's a minimum of soil in there. I haven't watered it in a couple weeks, so I'm going to get some, uh, soil from my big bag out on the, on the balcony there. And I'm going to try to nurse my cactus back to health. And, um, I don't know, if that sounds vaguely interesting to you, um, please leave a comment below. I might, you know, do some kind of, uh, time-lapse thing about, you know, cactus about my cactus, like, you know, do it with, uh, time-lapse, you know, well, not exactly time-lapse, I don't have the equipment for proper time-lapse photography, but, um, you know, like, I can do, like, you know, like, a couple photos a day and do some kind of slideshow kind of video with maybe making my own music, who knows. Right, now. Right. Oh, he's being so sweet. He's being so sweet right now after being a little, little weirdo running all over the place. Come here. Hey, want to say hi? Say hi to the nice folks? Maybe. Okay. Okay, so I guess we've gone over 25 minutes, and I like to keep these under 20 with the med vlogs, but, um, that's, I think that's about it. I think that's it that I'm doing this week. Uh, at the very least, you will see me again next week. Um, ah. Uh, I am really hoping to do, um, you know, like, in my, um, promise to do book-related videos on Wednesday, uh, from, uh, Raven Dracul, uh, she's a, another small YouTube goth, uh, she has uh, devised the Edgar Allan Poe tag, just, like, five quick questions about Edgar Allan Poe fans and readers, so I'm hopefully gonna do one of those on Wednesday if I remember it. I should remember it. Right, Kitty? You'll remember me. You'll remind me, won't you? Yes, you will. He's so cute. He is so cute. You are such a cute little noodle. You are such a cute little noodle. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so sweet. He is. But he's a menace with the tail. The tail. He's such a menace with the tail, and I need to take it away until he knows how to use it right. Yes. You gotta take it away until you tell me you know how to use it right, like a grown dog. Yes, you do. You're so dumb. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Swishy, swishy. Swishy, squirrely tail. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. That's and kisses. And take care of yourselves and goodbye.